everyone is screaming Windows 12 is this, AI that, but what actually is legit? Is Microsoft cooking a new OS or are we just stuck in Windows 11.5 with AI sprinklers? Well, I dug through the leaks, patents, insider build and even that one random HP page that they took down. Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about six different segments where we will try to burst certain myths and we'll try to understand with the factual clue that we saw in the past. So let's start with the first segment, which is the name game. First off, it is not officially called Windows 12. Internally, Microsoft call it Next Valley. And actually you might have seen it might have leaked already and then so many creators start calling it Next Valley. So why do people keep calling it Windows 12? Well, because of Intel, OEM and Best Buy listing have hinted at it. But here is the plot twist. Microsoft said flat out in Fab 2024, no Windows 12 in 2024. And we saw it, you know, there was no Windows 12 in 2024. But it may change in mid to late 2025, that's the possibility. Okay, so now let's talk about segment two, which is UI leaks and visual overhaul. Okay, so let's talk about UI. This floating taskbar thing, real? Well, Microsoft showed it back in 2022 at Ignite and DevBuild hinted it getting a top mounted redesign, especially for tablet and two-in-one PCs. What we saw there is a floating dock, more rounded corners and live tiles, they are gone, you know. But what about if you are a keyboard and mouse user? So don't worry, it's likely optional. But for touch users, you are getting the iPadification of Windows. So deal with it. Now let's talk about the AI bomb, which is Copilot. Imagine your PC takes snapshot of everything, files, chat, YouTube video, and lets you remind the time like Control and Z for your digital life. Creepy, yep, cool. Also, yep, in May 2025, Microsoft relaunched it for Copilot plus PC. But now with privacy tools, biometric unlock, local only encryption, and pause anytime. But here's the catch. You need a laptop with NPU doing 40 tops or more. So this is the criteria I am hoping gonna be. And that's not your budget laptop from 2023, sorry. Okay, so now let's talk about rumors versus reality. Windows 12 name, well, it is still cooking, not official, but all signs pointed there. Floating taskbar, it may be real and we saw it in one Microsoft event. Then comes modular core PC windows. Well, uh, it is real and then we know it is already tested. ARM first release, which is again real and then NPU hardware push confirmed it. Full AI UI everywhere. I think still it is currently cooked and probably Copilot Pro like we needed, which for sure I guess going to be paid. Drop the version number entirely. Not this time, Windows 11 version numbering currently exists. So yeah, some of clickbait is not entirely clickbait, but yes, lot of YouTubers are showing concept UI that are pure fan fiction. So do not get fooled by seeing those. Okay, so now let's jump into our next section where we're going to talk about the minimum spec requirement. 8 gigabyte of RAM that most likely to be 64 gigabyte of storage. I don't think so that going to be anymore. Windows 12 may require 256 gigabyte of minimum storage. And then of course the CPU required to be 64 bit and so the Windows, even the Windows 11 do not have 32 bit operating system. Then comes the new kid on the block, which is NPU. So as we mentioned before, we require at least 40 tops of NPU power to run Copilot features. So if your PC make a lot of noise when you are opening Windows Chrome, so start saving now because as if you want to use the upcoming version, then you need to buy a new PC. Okay, so now we reach to our last segment where we're going to talk about what we want in Windows 12. You can also drop your comment if you agree or you want or wish to have something else. The first thing that I want is one click kill switch for all AI because it really going to be very messy and you know there are so many variety of users they really need some time to adapt and understand it. The second expectation of mine is true system wide dark mode 
or even better personalization with better theming option. The next wish I have is the smart charging like Apple have, which is battery limit. That kind of limits your battery to a certain percentage, let's say 80, to maximize your battery health. Also, a visual app store for Wingates if you really like Linux vibes. And then, of course, I would like to see a rollback mode for game install that will fix broken modes without a full reset. So in the end, Windows 12 is for sure real, but not in a way we most of us think. It is coming, it is smarter, and yes, it might read your screen like a diary. But with the right hardware and a little paranoia, you might love or may not love it. In the end, I would say hit that like if this video helped you skip the clickbait. Subscribe to Technoholic for more such videos. And remember, do not trust the every leak. You know, most of them are fake. And let's catch each other in one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.